Hey everyone, this is Ben McGee, President and CEO of CyberProtects. With this video, we're going to show what system maintenance is and how you will be tested on the exam. So, what do you think is the main reason why companies get hacked? Or, how do you think the attackers are able to find issues and be able to exploit them. How do you think they get hacked? Really it comes down to they're weak. Specifically people like you and I are out there trying to defend the network, the software, the systems, and we are not given enough time to put the controls in place to be successful. So oftentimes, we cut corners to implement systems, and by doing that, we get issues that are wide open for attackers to come and try to get on. Really, it comes down to that old game show that you used to see with the British lady, the weakest link. Goodbye. Who is the weakest link? Is it technology? What about configuration? Maybe policy? Or maybe it's the old ID10T, the human error. Well, if we go into technology and decompose that a little, let's just talk about some of the different infrastructure, software applications, maybe network or wireless, the web. What about maybe just things that are going wrong with systems? If people are doing things to the technology that maybe they shouldn't be doing, or they're accepting defaults, leaving user IDs and passwords uh, to the default, that is a gaping hole. Well, what about configuration? Talk about accounts and passwords. Usually you see password policies has to be larger than the eight characters with upper and lower case special characters in, in there. Um, internet services can be just uh, wide open with no firewall. And like I was saying before, people accept the default settings to link sys routers or you know Cisco Cisco for the switches. And what it comes down to is policy. Policy, policy, policy is what helps enforce things like privacy and confidentiality. Separation of duties is something that you will absolutely see on the exam. And we do that to try to make sure that people have you know, too deep in each position so you don't have a single point of failure. And then also it helps to drive out any wrongdoing by a single employee. You need to have an acceptable use policy. Typically, people see the acceptable use policy right when they first log in the windows and they just click OK. But if you actually take the time to read that, it actually tells you what you're going to be watched, how are you going to be watched, what's going to be recorded. And typically, everything is while you're on the corporate network. What about service level agreements? Are you a 24-7, 365 operation? Do you only answer emails from 9 to 5? through Monday and Friday. What do you do for getting rid of stuff? Do you have a shred company come on site? Or possibly um, shred it yourself or an incinerator? And what about password management? Do you make people change their passwords regularly every 60 days or 90 days? Well, your employees are super important and Really, it comes down to, do you trust them? People try to use impersonation to help get around certain types of social engineering. Um, they have intent to harm. Maybe they got passed over for the promotion or didn't get the raise that they liked. And those can lead to human error. Specifically, with malice, you can have dishonesty, Maybe it leads to a, an accident or just sheer ignorance. Somebody does something that they should not have been doing 
and it just leads to things that are not good for the corporation. If somebody's just being overloaded, I know I've had a couple of jobs in the past where there's just too much for one person to do in a single day or week. Um, so you have to take a break, make sure your, your people are satisfied with the amount of workload that they have. We hear it all the time about identity theft out there, and um, it's very, very prevalent. And then your disgruntled employees are your number one uh, people that you need to take a look at and monitor the insider threat. A lot of these questions on the test will go around these words right here. You may see some questions around the Windows Update and the different types of Windows Updates that are available. You have ones that are important which means that you should absolutely do them immediately. Recommended means uh, there's probably a patch that you should do, but you don't necessarily have to. And then optional, just as the word states, it's optional. And then with Windows Update, typically you hear people make fun of Microsoft by saying Patch Tuesday. And when we talk about patch management, you have the service packs, you have the patches that come in, Really every Tuesday and um, they typically have a an MS on the front of them if you're not running Windows firewall then you definitely need to make sure that you do because it's important and inside of Windows they actually have these things called the user account control you probably have seen these they're the annoying pop-ups that you have to accept do you want to allow this computer to make changes to the program or maybe supply credentials so keep that in mind whenever you're going through and taking the exam. If you have any questions, contact us at train at cyberprotects.com.